Okay, in this beginning Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit about particle systems, hair particles, and vertex groups. So if you're new to 3D, you have to learn vertex groups, no matter what, because that gives you a lot of power. So let's take a look at this basic sphere that I have in the scene. You see this upside down triangle here? That's where you can go find vertex groups. So basically what it allows you to do, it allows you to assign different weights to different parts of the mesh, which you can use for different reasons, like maybe Oh, well, let's, I'll show you the first way and then we'll do it another way. Let's do it this way first. Let's go, you go into edit mode. I'll deselect everything with A. I'll just grab, I'll press C and I'll grab this little section right in here like this. And I'll give it a weight over here. I'll go, oops, I gotta escape that. You come over here. I'll call this group one. And I'll give it a weight of one. And But you have to assign it. All right, and then I'm going to press back over here. I'll deselect that, and I'll get these here. Actually, even though I'm all right, I'm going to call this group two, and I'm going to give it a weight of 0.5, like that, and assign it. All right, so they're just two different weights. So you can go get group one and select it, and it pops up there. All right, so now with that being done, let's go get a hair particle system. See, so particle tab, go to the particles, we'll get hair particles. If the length is really evenly distributed everywhere because I'm not limiting it to anywhere on the sphere, but I will in a second with a vertex group. All right, so let's come down here to, well, let's just change this length a little bit just so it's not so much. But we'll come down here to the bottom under the vertex groups and then we can pick let's do the density first for group one and there it is group one now the, those particles are only emitting from that particular location of the mess where we set that vertex group equal to one and instead let's pick group two and now it's doing the same thing but in the other vertex group area as well alright so let's forget that now let's try the length group one group one picks it up there and group two picks it up and you notice how the length here is shorter on this side so it's a combination of both in that case both it emits it from that vertex group only and in this case from that vertex group but even of a shorter length as well because we set the value of the vertex group to be I think it was half right that was one and maybe that was 0.5 so well so we can go back into here and just by changing this you can see if I go back to the vertex group tab, press A, go get group 2, I'll select it and I'll make it 0.1 for the value like that and then I'll leave here, whoops, what happened? Did I not assign it? 0.1 assign and there you go, you can see how they're much shorter like that as well. So vertex groups are unbelievably important in Blender for many many things and it's just something you just want to start using all the time. <laughs> all right? Okay, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.